Hey everyone, Deb Antonick here. I just want to do a quick uh, journal background for my journal. And it's a fun background that I like to use all the time. And I'm just going to use some DecoArt uh, acrylics. And I've painted my, my journal page black. And a few tools. I'm going to have stencil and some st stamp set from uh, Stampendous. A couple of little stencils. My stays on ink pad. A brayer and a stencil brush and my uh, I have the tiger brush which I love to use for doing backgrounds so this is just going to be a quick and easy background I'm going to just slap on some paint starting with watermelon slice and I'm going to do a little bit of uh, electric pink one of my favorite colors to use I just love the brightness of it And some sunny day, just a little bit of yellow to pop into the background. And some orange flame. Just some, some fun colors, makes for a nice bright background. And then to blend it in when I'm finished, I'm just going to add some titanium white. I'm just going to put that off to the side. And I'm just going to get started. So doesn't matter which color I start with I'm just gonna pick up some paint and I'm just gonna slap it on just very very rough patches I'm not gonna think about it I'm just gonna put it on there and just add it in and then I'm just gonna go into my next color I'm not even gonna clean my brush and just fill in these patches in between I tend to add more pink you can add more or less of whatever color is your favorite mine is this pink and then I'm going to add some orange flame and I'm staying away from blending. I'm just working in these little patches. And a little bit up here and then I'm going to clean my brush because I am going to go into the yellow. And we don't want to think about this. This background should only take about five minutes. Then I'm going to pick up some of my sunny day, same thing, just kind of put it in a few spots. It's okay that it blends a little bit, but we don't want to have a whole bunch of blending. And just kind of fill in a few spots, but want to leave some of your black showing through. It helps to create sort of some fun elements to your design. Don't overthink it, just plop it on there. And then I'm going to clean up my brush. And this is where I'm going to pick up a little bit of the white. And the white is to just do a little bit of blending. I don't want to do a lot of blending. And I'm just going to kind of slip slap it around just to sort of do my blending. Just blend it in a little bit. I still want to see the different colors. And just a little bit here and there. That's all I'm going to do. Put my brush aside. Then I'm going to take my brayer and I'm just going to very, very gently just kind of distress my piece a little bit by just adding a little bit of brayer. Not a lot. I don't want to take too much of the way from the design. I like this is different colors showing in there. And if you want, you can always pick up a little bit of. of white off of your palette and just pick up a few, you know, add a little bit to a few spots if you want. You don't have to. Just if you think you want to add a little bit more white. You don't want to have any major clumps. There. So I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to hit it with the, the dryer. Let it dry. There, it's dry. And I've also cleaned off my, my sheet as well with a baby wipe. And now I'm going to take my stencil and I'm going to add some a little fun. This is my favorite stencil. This is a stencil from uh, Cover Distributing, and I'm not sure there's a I'm not sure which one it is, but it's my favorite. As you can see, it is well loved. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some more watermelon slice because I like putting the red over top. So get some more, and I'm going to put it over here. 
And then I'm going to take my stencil brush, go into my little puddle of paint, and I'm going to stencil. Just randomly stencil a few spots here and there. When you stencil, I'm really working the paint into my brush. I'm going to do this. I'm going to work it in. I want this is a Dynasty Stencil Pro, which I just love. But I don't want a big gob of paint on the end, so I'm going to work it in there. Then I'm going to take a little bit off on paper towel. Just a little bit. And then, I really love the red over the other colors. So just randomly pick a spot. We're not even going to think about this either. And I'm just going to swirl. But I don't really care where it lands. I just want to have some element in here. You see how it picks that up? Isn't that pretty? And do a little bit more here and there. A few spots. And it becomes part of the background. It doesn't sit on top, which is what I like about it. I really like the red over top of the yellow when I can find the yellow. So pretty. And I just put a little random spots in the middle. My design is going to go up the sides, so I do need a little bit in the middle. Depends where I want to put my design. In the case of what I did this for, the first piece I did this for, the design was in the middle. But there, just a little bit of interest. It's not overly busy. Put that aside. Wash it eventually. And then I'm going to take my little polka dot stencil. And you can have some fun with it. This we can do all sorts of different colors. In my case, I'm going to actually add some Indian turquoise. Just a nice bright blue. Just a few polka dots. I think it adds a little bit of fun as well to the piece. If you want to, and I'm going to add, I'm actually going to use the same stencil brush. Because it's not, it's not designed to be anything overly bright. I'm just going to randomly do a few polka dots here and there just so they sit on top. Adds another color into the piece. Whatever color you use for the polka dots you can bring into your design at some point. Just a few. Not a lot. And there we go. So that's the stencils, and then next what I'm going to do is just going to let that dry for a second. Next what we're going to do is we're going to stamp. So I'm just going to take my, this is a fun little stamp from Stampendous, it is called Floral Circles, and I just like all the little whimsy kind of mandala flowery looks. So I'm going to just stamp, and I'm using Stays On permanent jet black and I'm using stays on because I'm going to add matte medium over top of this after and stays on and the ranger archival ink are two of the ones that I know that I can use with the matte medium so if you're ever going to stamp always check your inks if you're using anything you're not certain of and just see what it looks like and try to you know put your varnishes or your mediums over top just to make sure that it's it's not going to bleed with water and then this I'm just going to do some random stamps as well I've got a little plastic handle. It's easy to use. And these I don't necessarily want perfect as well. I'm just going to add a few randomly around the background. So I think it adds some fun to it. There's quite a few different ones here to use. You know what? It doesn't even have to go on an edge. It can go on a corner. Right there. Fix it up. And if it's not perfect, that's okay. Then I'm going to change it out with another favorite one. I like this one. It's like a sunshine. And it's kind of fun if you want. You can add the other little little star inside just to add a little bit more character. Ink and stamp away. Pop it down. Don't give it too much slot. Well, 
Once I've created my backgrounds, I do like to put a coat of matte medium over top when I'm finished, just because it, to me, it protects my background. If I make any mistakes painting, because I'm going to do a lot of painting over top, I can wipe it off with a baby wipe without affecting my funky background that I spent all this time working on. There, just a few of those and maybe take that off and just do a few with just a little. Whatever you want. And then we'll find a different one. So many fun ones on here. I just love them. usually get it you might get a second stamp out of it usually you just get one nice nice colorful stamp when you first do it and I noticed that I've got a nice spot up top and I'm just gonna get a bigger handle for this and I'm gonna put a little this one up here because I think it's kind of cool just like the design on it. But I'll be able to see it later, which will be fun. I'm not trying to cover the whole background. I'm just using up bits and pieces that I really like. There. And there you have it. That is my fun, quick and easy little background. Happy painting!